Okay, against a priest. Let's mulligan all this. Love your YouTube content. Well, thank you, Boomer Coral. Much appreciated. Mark Nutt with the nine months. Well met. Uh, Vandar is just, is, I think, just good to include. Okay, they are. We will, we're certainly not going to trade this into Shadow Priest. We have a lot of life gain. V yeah, Vandar being bad with commencement is still totally worth when you can... Uh, when you can just play giant things early. Reporting for duty. Hmm. This is really obnoxious. What is it? Okay. You here for the tour? I think we're just casting a city tax because it gets rid of the peasant and this does give them yeah. I get another one two, but we kill their card draw and their two one. Is anyone else lost? Yep. Give me a cavalry horn deck. That's not really a cavalry horn. Templar Captain or a Brass Wing. Carol is obviously super good. Our hand is obviously very expensive. Our deck is very expensive. Is it worth casting a Vitality Surge or a Snack on this turn? Are you ever going to stream Total War? I did. I did like last week or the week before. I think I cast a Vitality Surge now because I can actually play whatever I draw with it next turn, other than a Colossus. Because if I if I didn't if I wait and don't play it, yes, I give them two more attack, but I'm gaining I'm gaining five life. I give them two more power on board, but I, I get myself hopefully a Brasswing or Templar Captain to play. That's obviously disastrous. We drew this the turn before instead of vice versa. We'd be pretty easily win this game. And if this was Brasswing instead, we win, but it's fine. <clears throat> you know, when you play a deck with a, with a bunch of really expensive cards, sometimes you just draw a bunch of really expensive cards. It was unfortunate that we drew them before we played Vandar, but those games don't go that long, so. Fight with honor. Okay. Mm, look like quest. They kept the first card. And that's it. Well met. Quest is probably pretty bad for me because they have the assassin and How's the uh, the quest reward gadget, the gizmo that bounces your stuff. Care to make a wager, friend? Care to make a wager, friend? Sure. <sighs> I think I'm actually gonna coin the barricade. This area is Not the Vandar. I'm too far behind to just coin Vandar there. This lets me barricade into true silver into protect. Get the Vandar in play eventually, but I think that that trying to play Vandar when we're behind this much damage is not realistically going to win us the game. Strictly. What justice? 
this. Maybe it's better to put the Vanguard here, but setting up the Protect the Innocent seems more powerful than getting theoretical discounts on future draws. Because we don't even necessarily, you know, draw those minions soon. And we need the tempo, I think, from the weapon into Protect more than we do the, you know, the odds of hitting that. to protect the innocent, get our two five fives. Frontline our frontline is indeed fortified. Next turn I probably just want to play Cavalry Horn, and then the following turn can be Vandar, potentially Equality into Cavalry Horn Swing. Because we have Equality and uh, Brass Wing to be able to deal with them getting their bouncing mat. Okay. Sure. Assassin. Extortion, sure. Not assassin. Okay, so they get scabs this turn. It actually does strip the horn, unfortunately. I want to play this differently. I'm gonna snack run. Awkwardly, I think I take Wave of Apathy. And play this. Because, yeah, the bounce screwed up our commence or our, our uh, horn plan. We can do this depending on how this pair, uh, pans out. Because we have, you know, the, the equality in hand. We obviously could draw, like, a city tax or a consecration. We also could just use the wave. Okay. We're obviously not going to just do some, like, commencement here. It's disastrous. Take another one of these. For justice. So basically, I hope I don't draw a minion next turn so I can equality Brasswing and clear this. I can equal equality and then defender and then attack, putting Brasswing into play. I'm stoked for the new expansion announcement. I when, when they when they tweeted and they were like, it said uh, I'm gonna cast this snack run. I'm gonna take consecration. I specifically I want to cast snack run rather than hero power here because I want to be able to barricade and next turn. The consecration is also obviously good with equality. 
but yeah, the uh, when they tweeted, you know, check us out on April 19th, I was like, that's usually after the expansion is out. And it was, I, I assume, just kind of a copy and pasted thing from uh, the Warcraft social media thing. Because that's when the Warcraft, the World of Warcraft announcement was. This area is off limits. Oh, what was your favorite post-victory meal? I would say probably something like sushi. I do like me some sushi. And you know, I win a lot, so it's the sort of thing that you can you can actually just eat on a regular basis and not, you know, feel horrible about yourself. <laughs> Is this a Oh okay. What? What? I'm so confused. They like Blue, were they they were gonna overdraw or something? Why would they have done it this way? Ooh, hello. Justice demands retribution. without cucumbers, I eat most of them. I usually eat, like, nigiri and sashimi rather than rolls, though. Rather consecration get the seven damage in. No. Mm -hmm. Solar pouch. Yep. Twisted. Okay. So that is double strong man plus a uh, amulet. Yep. to get nine damage in there. Okay, sure. Double bonus Yasharaj. Uh-huh. Another Yasharaj. Oh. Hmm. Okay. It's like one of those like meme things. Three Yasharajes later. Uh, that was 
lethal damage was. But okay. Paladin isn't that big. 